Sushi lovers in Toronto don't have to go too far for the next craving. Sushi making for the souls, a class that shows you how to make it. And Chef uh, Sang Kim joins us in the AM kitchen to show us how. And the guys are going to join us as well. Omar and Jeff coming in. Welcome. It's so good to have you with us Thank today. Thank you so much for having me. You know, so many people love sushi, but making it is another thing. And your classes have really taken off, Sang. They have. They started it about uh, eight years ago, and it was all inspired by my desire to go and help children in um, uh, high-risk neighborhoods, teach them a little bit about food literacy, and of course, uh, sushi was such an easy way mm. to do so. And that's where the soul part of it comes that's in, right? right? For that's the soul, right. there's something about uh, making food and, and, and having you know, your hands into something right. and that's connecting right. with it that really is gratifying. It is, it is, and uh, very calming is what sushi is when you really get down to it. As it will be today, I hope. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have us making yeah, California rolls, right? Yes. Okay, so is... tell us what you've got laid out here. So I've already put the rice on top of the nori sheet. Okay. And what I'd like is each one of you to grab a spoon from uh, um, and take some of these ingredients. I'm going to take the uh, traditional type of the uh, sesame seeds. Okay. Omar, if you wanted to grab some sweet. Sure. Okay. I don't know if you, you're so sweet you don't need <laughs> <not even> more. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and what is this? Well, that's, uh, that's particularly for uh, Canada AM. Yeah, so, oh, oh, look at the yeah. maple leaves, oh, the red and white. Yeah. Right. Oh, beautiful. The little flag. Yeah. Look at that the little flag. Okay. Jingle. And this is, is this sugar? It is. It's blue oh, okay. sugar. Okay. So you want to just sprinkle a little bit on it. And as soon as you do that, what I'd like you to do is lift it up gently and flop it over onto the bamboo um, mats. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Bring it right flush oh, to the bottom. Oh, I need to push. Okay. Okay. There you go. And then let's grab some of the, we'll start off with some cucumber. Okay, so cucumber right here. Cucumber, just line it up down, down at the bottom there. And then this is um, what's called kanikama. So it's, it's fake crab meat. It's actually pollock. Um, and you want to put this right on top of the uh, cucumber. cucumber. Okay. Just like that. And Omar, let's bring it right down to the bottom. Two okay. pieces. Okay. And then a couple of pieces of the avocado. Okay. Right in front like so. One and then two. I've always okay. wanted to try this. Okay, this is really cool. And, okay, then, and then we start rolling. Okay, so okay. this is how you do it. You want to tuck everything in. With the mat. Yes, Okay, with the so mat. that's oh, the trick. It's with the mat. Okay. okay. Mat. So I'm tucking just, everything in, though. Right. And you want to roll forward. And then once you hit here, which where the bottom edge is flush and on top of the nori sheet, yeah. then you want to start um, flexing your muscle a little bit. So you're pushing turn, that in. Turning it into a roll. Okay. And then you want to lift it up, the flap. And then you want to push it over on its next side, just like that. So let's move it over to the next. Uh, like this. Yep. And okay. there you there you go, Jeff. So if you want to just pull it up one oh, more, and, there we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Like yeah. that to the next. And side. then okay. again, just shape it into place. And you know it's a roll because when you go like that, it rolls. See, that looks perfect, saying. Okay. I'm not sure what's going to happen here when <laughs> I lift this thing up. Uh, you guys, you guys are doing great. Okay. Oh, that looks fantastic. That looks really good, Marsh. Okay, yeah, that looks look great. That Jeff. looks great too. <laughs> and that looks really, really good. <laughs> And tastes just as good, Mine's I'm sure. sort of a triangle. That's okay. <laughs> okay. There we we go. started a new role. Look so at that. We're doing, a, as you know, I do a lot of uh, work with children. Um, and you're busy. You're pretty busy yeah, this busy. summer. Summer is a huge corporate time, but uh, uh, in the middle of August, I'm actually doing a free sushi making class. There's still a lot of room mm. uh, for parents to enroll their kids, and it's at the Laurel School here in Toronto. So anybody in the Toronto area, in Toronto, Ontario... Mm. That's Great something school. to check out. With I'm the looking kids. at Omar's. How good that one is! I like the little sprinkly. So this is say. done now. It's well. You know what? We're going to cut it as uh, we go into break here. Okay. okay. Be careful of the knife. This is what the six-year-olds in my class use, but uh, adults sometimes cut themselves. Oh, with I can't that. even okay. get the knife thing off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay. And then right. you know what you want to do? You want to just cut it right down the middle. Okay. Like so. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. And then what you want to do is cut uh, each side with two or three more pieces. Okay. 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 And then we'll present it on the plate over there. Okay, this is great. Okay. We're going to come back and close right here, okay? We'll try and get the presentation down okay. saying. Thanks for I, having me. Oh, it's wonderful to have you with us. I've never seen sprinkles on a sushi roll. They're Canadian. They're Canadian. They and kids would love this. They love this. The little sprinkles.